I know that plenty of YouTubers have covered this already. Pewds, Merc, and this even got the king of roasting Jax films on it. Boom roasted. But I figured I might as well put my opinion on this. Now, just a quick disclaimer here. I do not want to trigger someone into thinking I hate all reaction channels. Although if I do another disclaimer, I really don't care. On the topic of reaction videos themselves, yes, I do think they're very stupid and shouldn't be something that's even allowed to be uploaded to YouTube. I have seen a good dozens of reaction videos and all I've seen from them is staring and barely any commentary. It's basically like gaming videos, but worse. I'd point out specific videos here, but these people are posting so many videos a day that I really just can't keep up. I was going to talk about Jinx in this video, but not only do people talk about him 24-7, but he's also recently stopped making reaction videos, so he's off my crap list. Instead, let me talk about a recent situation that has had me intrigued since it started. There are two YouTubers, okay? One comedy animator, or editor, I don't really know what he does, and a reactor. They are Grade A Under A and Tyrone Magnus. Now, I used to watch Tyrone a lot, right? I watched his videos all the time as they were released. However, there were so many of them... I was so bored of how he didn't react to much of these things that I just stopped watching in general. As for the situation with Grade A, his channel usually revolves around roasting pretty much anything that he can find. He made a video a while back explaining how he hated reaction channels and how he hated the way they affected YouTube. If you want to see the points he made, I suggest you watch the video for yourself, it's a very detailed thing really. I watched his videos on it and they impacted me pretty hard. These people staring at a screen get most of their popularity by doing just that. Staring at a screen and laughing sometimes. I know that these people don't make much money, but they still boom in views and subscribers. And I sit here staring at a screen making my latest videos that take like days to make, two years if you count the sequel to Halo Fontage. And these people who say they have an intense amount of talent get more popular than Miley Cyrus after she swung on the wrecking ball naked. As I said, I have seen plenty of Tyrone Magnus' videos, and yes, sometimes he does have something to say, but this is a rare occasion at best. Reaction channels in general do not put much time and care into their videos, literally only requiring that they can do the reverse of what gameplay channels do by making their faces the focus and making the video the bonus content. Now, I say bonus content lightly, as I only watch Tyrone's videos to actually see the video he was quote-unquote reacting to, but then I stopped watching his videos because I realized that my views were not going to the original content creator, but more rather went to the person who deliberately stole the video and re-uploaded it with their face on it. On the subject of stealing, this entire base of reacting is full of nothing but thieves, really, barring fine bros, whom I will talk about in a bit. These people straight up download or record videos without the original uploader's permission, and even have the audacity to monetize these things. Not only are they taking the videos themselves that they didn't even work on, but they are getting money from them. And I said before that they don't get paid that much, but they still get paid. And no matter how much the price is, it's still a scummy thing to do to take a single dollar from someone. Like, imagine this, okay? Imagine if my videos are monetized, which they aren't, so that people can catch my videos commercial free. Unless it's something claimed by copyright due to using specific music. And someone reacted to it. Now imagine that person getting millions of views while I'm stuck here at a few thousand. I put a claim on his video, but I didn't get to do this until after he had already gotten millions of views. Because of this, he had gotten probably a ton of cash compared to how much I make, none. That's like walking up to a homeless person who was asleep, taking all of his supplies that he has, and running off before he could wake up. And when that person wakes up, he's like, oh darn, the thieves got me again. And then the whole process just repeats itself. These people straight up upload full videos, some reaching to 20 minutes long, and half the time it's just them doing what people on the internet do, stare at a screen and contemplate what they are doing with their lives. Now, trust me, there are some reaction videos that I know that at least try to make their videos interesting. People like Blasphemous HD tried to add some comedy to their channel, stopping the video every now and then to give them some input, or to tell a funny story, at least. Similarly to Tyrone Magnus, I watched all of this guy's videos. But then I realized he was doing basically the same thing, uploading entire videos and taking views that do not belong to him. He's better in the sense that he actually reacts sometimes, but he still follows the same YouTube sin of taking content and gaining from it. However, there are the better reaction channels that I could point out at this point. People like the Fine Bros, H3H3, or I guess we consider Leafy is here a reaction channel technically, actually put a, a decent amount of effort into their videos. They don't show the entire video, giving the viewer the need to see the entire thing for themselves to know what it's like. And that's great! That's what gives the original creator views and attention. They add editing and comedy into the mix, even, making these videos funnier with their own detailed input or sometimes funny comments that can get the video more attention on the joke rather than the video itself, making it all more interesting for the viewer. They are basically like reviewers, but more video-centered. Jeez, why can't that be the next big thing? Reviewing channels. Funny reviewing channels, you know? That'd be the content that I'd look for. Channels like JonTron or Nostalgia Critic, but more centered around YouTube videos and their humor. What's that? Equals 3 already did that? 
No, wherever Liam Johnson isn't there, therefore it is not important. Get out. So I guess that brings this rant to a close. In all honesty, I know that reaction channels are meant that people can feel like someone is watching a video with them, but I mean, come on. You can't use that to hide the fact that you were pretty much taking views and money from quality content creators. This would probably not get as much attention as I would hope, as it would be nice to get my opinion out there and such, but here I am as a tiny little YouTuber trying to meddle in the matters of big boy things. Dear Lord, I feel like I should have given up right when I started writing the script for this video. Anyway, guys. Guys, if you enjoyed, please leave a like and comment down below what your thoughts are on the subject. It would be great to know what you guys think. Oh, and also, new edit coming out on the 17th, as I already said, and a new gameplay video might be releasing soon. I just gotta get enough videos done so I can upload them weekly at the very least. I'll see you guys in the next video, and I hope you had a fantastic day. Later, dog. What in the world did I just say? Later, dog? Oh, please don't tell me that catches on somehow in later videos.